Welcome along guys, welcome back to the Japanese garden for another one of our comparison series I guess we're going to call it. Today we're comparing a couple of absolute incredible machines, bikes I absolutely love, bikes I've not been able to wait to get on to ride. just spent the afternoon thrashing around the countryside <laughs> all within legal all speed within limits, legal limits. Th this had that Which we never never once went over the legal to limit do, to do the two things <laughs> in parallel isn't it and it is about 31 degrees today it so it's extremely warm so we are sorry, absolutely a little, bit, uh, a little bit hot but uh, i feel like i've arrived as well because obviously i've now got the sporting the lcr t-shirt so uh, there you go welcome to the club welcome to the club officially the officially club. in the club, the club. <laughs> i feel honored you should be. You should be. Very odd. Well, happy to have you, mate. Happy yeah, to have you. Good. Well, thanks for inviting me. Another great, really enjoyable afternoon. I mean, I've never ridden the RSV4. No. Um, and um, I've owned a BMW S1000 RR previous model. Yeah. Um, so it's really interesting to try out the latest model, the yeah, current model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, obviously with those wheels on as well, it feels... It's, it's a big change to the light. old model as well, isn't it? it? Is. They've done a lot to it. The whole bike's yeah, revised. Definitely. You yeah. know, I think you can definitely feel the DNA from the old bike without a doubt, can't Correct. you? So as before, let's go through some top trumps. So okay. we, we, top, we did top trumps with the triumphs, top trumps with the triumphs. I think that worked rather well. So we've done a similar thing with these two beauties. So I've actually got, uh, I've got yours, mate. <laughs> if you're sitting next to that bike, you've got, you've got to answer those questions. <laughs> okay. It's the rules. So the RSV4 power of this machine, 217 horsepower. <laughs> That's going to take some beating. It is going to take some beating. That is, I mean, it's just laughable figures, aren't they? It's yeah. so funny. Yeah. 207, 207 for the BMW. Pull over up here and then let's have a swap back the other way on the same bits of road. It'd be probably quite good. I'm itching to try that. <laughs> let's have a go on this. It feels <laughs> wider. It feels wider. Does it? Yeah, oh God, it does, doesn't it? It's weird. Oh, you yeah, the BMW's like this is, this, skinny, this, isn't it? It feels bigger here, doesn't it? Oh, 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 doesn't it sound nice? Come on, Johnny. Oh, it's got a nice little pop. God, the BMW though then, on the power, I just, I just literally let it rip through the gears. This is like electric smooth. The BMW is electric, isn't it? Whereas that is, that's raucous, isn't it? Throttle response doesn't feel as smooth, it's like nothing, and then five grand, it hits. There's nothing, nothing, then it comes in. Weight of the bike's always a big, always contentious uh, going dry, figure. Dry or no, I've given both here, so oh, we've got oh, both here. Oh, so oh. because this has got a bigger tank, so I thought we'd better be this, do this properly. Because yeah. it's got a bigger tank, we'll take it into account. So wet, a Prillia claim, 199 kilos wet on the RSV4, dry, 177 kilos. Okay. Yeah, so okay. quite, a, you know, it, maybe they always say these things are heavy, but that is actually not heavy. pretty, pretty reasonable, isn't it? Is, it? It's not a lot in it, to be honest. No. So wet weight for the BMW, 193 and a half kilograms. And that's the M Sport one. 
That's the one with that's the carbon M-Sport, wheels. So, yeah, yeah, that's a good point, actually. So if you went for the standard standard BMW S1000 RR... I think it's just a couple of kilos in it, that's it. In it. It's, it's very, very it's close. What's the weight saving the wheels? Do you know, roughly? It's about two, another two and a half kilos, Is I it? think, on the M Sport, yeah. Okay, and then yeah. the, the dry, dry weight of the BMW is 173.3. 173, okay. So... And that's 177. 177. So they're, no, they're, they're really close. No. They're, they're a Mackie really D's close. between them, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> but interestingly, I think when you ride the two, yeah. the Aprilia feels heavier, doesn't it? I, I know it is a bit heavier, but it feels that, more than... That's because of the wheels. That's yeah, because of the gyroscopic, gyroscopic effect, effect of, the wheels. of that weight be, of the wheels. Yeah, because it it re- it's really quite it, noticeable. And, really and that's noticeable. not to imply that the Aprilia feels heavy, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it does feel a bit slower to turn and you have to sort of heave it over a little bit don't that, you that's by the beauty I, I mean I've had carbon wheels on a lot of my bikes and, really? and that is the, the difference it, it really because it's it. that gyroscopic yeah. effect once that's spinning that weight of the outside of, course, of the wheel yeah. is like 10 times yeah. the weight of the static yeah. weight yeah. so it makes a huge difference and you can really feel it can't you right let's have a little play on here oh yes please woohoo she wheelies oh it's 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 lovely in the twisties, it's so controllable. It's almost telepathic. Telepathic, this thing. I've got to say, the Aprilia, the, the throttle response is so nice. I know we've said it before, but the, the, this, the last couple of years, manufacturers have really sorted out the throttle response. This is also brilliant. You pick it up mid, mid, mid corner, you pick it up, and it's right there, it's beautiful. Well, the big one, I suppose, the, uh, the price. The price. Go so. On, this factory version, all the goodies, Olins, Acra, carbon wings. It's obviously expensive. <laughs> I'm trying to justify it already. <laughs> this will set you back 22, well, 22,400. Is it really? <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of That's money. A lot of money isn't it? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And it's not even a shockable price these days because bikes are so expensive. Yeah, aren't they? yeah. But I mean, that is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. And they obviously do the non factory version. Yeah, don't the, they? the non factory is 15999 so and that is without the forged wheels yeah no acra yeah. no wings yeah no carbon no carbon at all I no guess. olins no, is the big one no that's, that's no the, olins you're, that's, you're, that's the real you're, difference you're the wheels suspension yeah. on, on that okay. one yeah. yeah but i mean 5999 you've got that soundtrack you've, you've still got that exactly. motor yeah well you won't quite have the soundtrack well, you're you're the pie, the but yeah you have to pay extra for but the apparently soundtrack. but they do i mean i've been the sorry they the do Giano, sound nice they do sound nice stock as well they sound nice stock So BMW price then against your twenty two thousand four hundred pounds for yeah. the M Sport version, which yeah. is top of the line. I think, in fairness, there's no extras missing at all. Nineteen nine nine five for the M Sport version. If you go for the Sport, yeah, which is the model down without the uh, carbon wheels, then you're at sixteen nine nine five. So just seventeen grand. It's, it's, so, so it's yeah. three grand for the wheels and the paint job. That's really what you're paying yeah. for? Yeah, and I think you get an adjustable swinging arm pivot and some other, okay. and the seat, and our lovely seat, oh, that which seat? we'll come okay, on yeah, to. We'll that, come that's, on to that's, 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 that's what you get with the M Sport. And I think you, we've got to mention it, that's list price. And yeah, absolutely. It's list price for both, and when you're talking about spending this much money, yes. the, 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 you know, there's always a well, element of flexibility. Isn't wheels there? Motorcycles, who very kindly lent us the RSV4, yep. they're doing the 2019 version of this, which is identical, apart from the paint, yeah. And and the electronic still got Olins but hasn't got the electronic yeah. Olins. They're doing those for sixteen and a half, yeah. and they were twenty one grand last year. Sixty. I almost don't want to publicise this because I'm quite. It's, it's limited <laughs> stock, obviously. And I'm, I'm I'm fairly tempted yeah, to actually get know. one because it's such a bike. It is for sixteen and a half grand. It's phenomenal. Not to sixty. Well, not not to sixty. We'll do a rolling one. But first gear to sixty. I hope this has got an anti wheelie turned on. Yeah, it's got all that. I hope this had as well. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, hang on, some of this is anti wheelie too. Yeah, yeah. Well, hang on then. Oh, let's just do a lot. So, three, two, one, go. Sorry, I had a bit of a head start there. Woohoo! Both flipping fast. Been a bit criticised in our Triumph video. We, we never really come to a conclusion. Which I think and is what fair. do you prefer? And it was like, well, yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah. So what we've done, I've done a list of nine or so uh, 
Criteria. Criterias, yeah, and then we're going to score them. So we're going to come up with a winner on points. Yeah. And what will be interesting well, so to we'll see... So we'll both individually score each criteria exactly. and see where we are. Exactly. And yep. it'll be interesting to see if, if our, the points are the same as what... Our emotional best. sense. Exactly, yeah. And what we really exactly. feel. Exactly. So first one on the list is performance of each of the bikes. I mean, they're both ridiculously fast. I mean, yes. if I say performance, I'm not just talking speed, I'm talking handling, you know, that whole package. All of it. As, as a, from a score of one to 10 is what we're doing. Okay. All right, so want me to start with the Aprilia then? Let's Alphabetical start with the, order? Yeah, Alphabetical yeah, order. that's a good idea, yeah. Let's start with the Aprilia, so. Performance of the Aprilia, I would say on a score of one to 10, 10 being perfect, I would say it's very high. It's very I, high. I'm gonna say it's uh, an eight. An eight. Yeah. Um, and the reason that it's not a 10 for me is because it needs a little bit of finessing. Yes. And if you're a bit too aggressive with it, um, you don't get the best out of it, I don't yeah. think. And therefore, so I'm scoring it down for that because yeah, it, it's, it's down to the rider what you can get out of that bike. Agreed. The, the BMW is faster, but because it's easier. Correct. And that it doesn't, it, yeah, you know, exactly. that doesn't mean it, it's better it, no. it just means it's faster because it's easier it may not be as rewarding or, or all we'll of the come other, on to those things but we'll just just as a performance yeah. score yeah. being the, yeah. the, the easy they're the fastest bike for a set of twisties yeah. an eight for that I, I i think you're i'm gonna go eight as well are you yeah and uh i will try i'll go first next time so yeah, i don't no, just exactly. copy you follow my lead follow my lead <laughs> this bmw though i gotta say it's so civilized very, very plush, very nice. Yeah, does it look good to be M? Yeah, it does, looks really nice, especially in that, those M Sport colours look especially nice, don't they? And the dash is a lot better on the BM as well. It's quite small, the Aprilia dash, isn't it? I do like those new BMW dashes. Put it in the sports mode, Greg. Just hit the down button and go down, down into the sports. Yeah, go down and down again. Down one more. That's it. Oh, and then you yeah, got that nice. And that gives you lean angles and stuff as well, which is quite cool. Yeah, I think the BMW, I'm going to give it a 9. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, well, it, it could even be a 10. Really? I mean, what would be, I can't think of a bike which is better. Yeah. So should that mean it's a 10 or is there always room for something to be better? Yeah. I don't know, I may give it 10. Really? I'm going to give it 10. Okay. I'm, going to, I'm going to give it 10. I think it's so fast, it's so easy, it's so, it's so accessible. Yeah. The performance is so accessible. It on is. that yeah so I'm, I'm giving it a 10. okay i'm gonna stick with an eight for the bmw oh, as well yeah. yeah but for different reasons so I, I agree with the fact that it's extremely easy to ride fast yeah and it's obviously extremely fast on the performance which is the criteria they're scoring but for me it's just a little bit lacking at the bottom there's a bit of a build and mm. I think, you know, yeah, I think you have to give it more beans than I was expecting. Mm. Yeah, and I think part of the reason for that is it's a straight four and I think you don't get that instantaneous yeah. shove that you get in a twin. And, and, and so I'm, I'm an eight and, and yeah, I think, I, yeah. yeah. I, I, so. But I think for a straight four, that has got so much torque. I don't disagree. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but, yeah, I, but, yeah, but it's, yeah. it's, it's not it's, it, a perfect score. I think you're yeah. being a little bit optimistic. It's, yeah. it's really good, and eight, eight out of ten is they're good scores. Yeah, you know, I'd give a pooch maxi a one out of ten. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go nine. Now. No, no, I'm going to leave it at ten. <laughs> so That's a good say. point. That's a good okay, point. I, I, I get your point. Well, right, I'm going to go into dynamic suspension now. I'm going to play with my suspension if I can remember how to do it in mode oh yeah dynamic throttle response and I'm also going to go dynamic suspension hang on I can't remember how to do it now no, I think it's all just happens yeah, that all just happens when you change the throttle response and the suspensions all changes at the same time unlike the other BMWs where you've got to do it separately the beauty of the BMW is the electronic suspension going from the road mode to the dynamic there's such a big difference you can really notice that yeah, it's a real dramatic change between dynamic and road. Really noticeable. Quality of the bikes. So this, so I've tried to come up with things which yeah, aren't, no, you know, so yeah, this, could, okay. this can be applied to all different bikes, yeah. not just these. So quality, sort of build quality, the finish, the, yeah. how plastic Me they first are this time. They, You first this time. So I think the Aprilia quality, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a nine. Yeah. because I think it feels extremely well screwed together. 
it's got carbon on there, it feels premium everywhere, I think. It really does, I really like the build quality. Yeah. The BMW, I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, and it, it seems well built, but it does feel a little bit cheapy mm, plasticky. There's some things that you tap that I don't like. Yeah. I'm, I'm not in love with the frame. No. Um, so I'm gonna go, and I think we have to, if you don't mind everybody, I think we've got to consider that these are both 20,000 pound plus, plus bikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and, it. And, the, and so- The quality is respective the, of the money you're paying. Exactly. exactly. I think I'm gonna give the BMW, I'm gonna go six and a half actually, which I know is really quite a low score and I'm yeah, really sorry. I don't want this to be the crowd. end. It's end. a tough crowd, I, do, tough crowd. I don't want this to be the end of your channel. <laughs> you top of you, but no, no, it's just, nice working you, with the BMW yeah, yeah, motor yeah, yeah, yeah. while it lasted. No, but I, think, I just think, and I, I've got a caveat here. It's not because nothing's broken on it and it's well, all, it yeah, all works, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but it's a little bit cheapy. There's no carbon, there's no, there's nothing, with yeah. the exception of the wheels, there, there's nothing special there. I agree. There's not one piece of plastic on this bike. Everything is carbon. Every piece of trim is carbon. Yeah, it's another good couple of grand more expensive. Agreed. But yeah. if we're just going on quality, the, the quality yeah. Go on in, spit appears it higher. What so are you going for? I'm going to give the RSV4, I'm going to go the same as you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to give it a nine oh, because yeah. Yeah. it's almost perfection. It's almost it? perfection. Yeah. yeah, it's almost perfection. And I'm, I'm not, I think you've been a little bit harsh on That's the BMW, but I do agree there's, there's plastic. I mean, all the trim around the fairings plastic, you know, it, it is yeah. a bit of plastic on it. And it's it. not the fact that it's plastic, but it doesn't even feel particularly great no, plastic. No, and it, parts, can, it? It's, it can move, you know, yeah. agreed. So I'm, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it an eight. Okay. I'm going to give it an eight. Still close. Still close. I think this feels like it's got more mid-range, perhaps when you're not at full throttle, so sort of more power mid-throttle. I think the point is, on the Aprilia, John, I, I think you you can't be heavy-handed with it. You have to sort of caress it a little bit and think about what you're doing, and then you get the most out of it. I think if you just crack the throttle, I think it might just be, yeah, the electronics just stop it happening and it gets a little bit tied up in knots, doesn't it? Yeah, you could be right. A more of a fine, a fine refined machine which requires gentle inputs. Yeah, I think so. Whereas the BMW is sort of, it's so piss take easy to ride. Treat it like a lady is what you're saying. Be fine. Light, light inputs. <laughs> the BMW is bloody good though. I gotta say, I'm. You could, you could definitely never buy the BMW and be disappointed because when you're out with your mates on a long ride or on a Sunday, you could like ride all day and you'd get off and stop when everyone wants to stop and feel totally fresh. Which one is more desirable? It's you first this time, isn't it? Now, I think desirability, it's, it's got to be the RC4, isn't it? it so. It's Italian, it's sexy, it sounds incredible, it's a V4. Yep. You, you're going to get girls throwing the knickers at you on that one. <laughs> So I'm the RS V4, so I'm going to give desirability, it, it's right up there. I'm going to give it a nine. I'm going to give it a nine. Okay. You want me to give my on the Prilly and then we'll yeah. do the BMW? Okay. Yeah. So I think desirability is a 10. You're giving 10. For the yeah. yeah. I think the noise, the look, when you ride it, people turn their heads and they look and you can just see people who are a little bit intrigued and a little bit in awe. Yeah. Um, I think you could park it anywhere and it's the bike people are going to have a look at and yeah. it's, it's, it's fascinating. Yeah. So it's highly fascinating. fascinating. It's fascinating. highly, it is. I think it is. I, I, I just, you know, I just can't stop looking at it when we park up. Yeah. When, when, we, when the wheels dropped it off just and they wheeled yeah. it out of the van, it's, it was like, it's like a moment, wasn't it? I, it, I know. it was a bit of a definite build of excitement, I, wasn't there, I, as it came definitely. out? I couldn't you know? wait to get on it and I just <laughs> felt like a school kid at Christmas almost. It was fantastic. Yeah, I know. So no, it's very desirable. It is, it yeah. is. The BMW, it's not as desirable as the RS34. It, it, but it is it looks lovely you know especially yeah. in the m sport colors yeah. i think in those m sport colors it does look a lot nicer yeah. i love what they've done with the front end i, I love yeah, the I new agree. headlights i agree the I new it, LEDs. it looks amazing i really like the subframe color on it yeah it's, i don't even know what it is but it looks really nice yeah and i think in the m sport colors particularly yeah it's still desirable it's and desirable. you know the guy that dropped off the aprilia from wheels was really impressed with it and, and you know i felt good about it as well yeah yeah exactly i i'm not going to give it a nine but okay. i'm going to go an eight i'm going to yeah. go an eight on desirability yeah okay i think i will join you on an eight are you still in road mode are you in dynamic now i'm now in road still i haven't changed it but that's okay it's very very comfortable 
I think this is a harder bike to ride, fast. Yeah, I think you're probably right, but I think what you've got to remember is if you bought one and you owned it, you ride around some of its idiosyncrasies. And I think it, once you've mastered the Aprilia, I think it will be glorious, so glorious. And, and it's not that quirky, is it? It's just not as easy as the BMW because the BMW is so easy. I think that is, the, that, that is, that is why, isn't it? The BMW is just so easy. And they're coming on quite, quite nicely onto looks. So the looks, uh, you go first on this one. Looks, I did yeah, first last so, time. Um, I think the Aprilia, I think it looks great. Um, I think my only criticism of the looks are they haven't really changed it much yeah. in 10 years. And I know it's got the wings and it's been enhanced, but largely it's the same. Yeah, it's, all, it's all development, isn't it's it? It's all development. It's, it's, it's still an extremely good looking bike. Yeah. It's lacking LED front ends, which I think we do talk about when we're riding it. And yeah. it's quite noticeable. It looks a little bit dated because of that, because they just look yellowy, the lights, don't they? It's when just, it's just, behind you, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's not there. But I think looks overall, the back end on it, even though it's old, still amazing. Even without any, yeah. it's got a full size plate, no tail tidy, the wings, the carbon. Um, it's a nine and a half for me. Yeah. It looks good. The, the colours look great, isn't yeah, it? Those colours as well, don't they? Nine and a half. BMW. It's romping away. I oh, know, we're back to a pretty for you. I beg your pardon. What are you yeah, no, no. Looks? So, looks, I agree with everything you said. Yeah. You know, it, it, it does need an update, but yeah. it's only the lights that need updating. Yeah. And it's silly, you know, you, you think LED, you know, it's nothing, is it? Who cares yeah. really what the light and, I mean, you, and you can get LED bulbs. If it really bothers you, yeah. you can get LED bulbs in there. Yeah. So, it's no big thing, really. Yeah. So I think looks, it's a nine. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a nine for me on the looks. BMW. Double R. I think it's a great looking bike as well. Yeah. And actually when I followed you on the road, it looks amazing from you know the side, the back, and in the mirrors when yeah. I was leading, it yeah. looks great. Yeah. Uh, what, what score did I give for the, a nine and a half? Nine and a half. I, I think it's, I think it's uh, I'm going to go nine, yeah. but I think, you know, yeah. it's not I, quite as good looking, but, but it's, still, it's, still, it's still very good looking. They've bike. done a great job with updating it, haven't they? Definitely. I love the front yeah. of it. Yeah. It, it. You know, it looks Italian. That front end it looks, looks amazing. It looks I, Italian. I don't know why they didn't do it in the first place. I never was a big lover no. of the uh, um, asymmetrical thing, uh, yeah. front lights on the yeah. other one. And, and the back end was too long on the old one. Yeah. I think the back end of this looks great. I love the fact they've ditched the main rear light and you've got the integrated yeah, the, yeah, uh, rear really lights good, in, in the indicators. Yeah. It looks it looks good. I, I'm echoing everything yeah. you've said basically and okay. I, i'm gonna go nine as well does look nice they're prettier in the back though really tiny back it hasn't even got a tail tidy on it doesn't look too bad lovely back end that night really nice it's been around years in that back end but it still looks good today good about the bike or my back end <laughs> yeah you look lovely comfort comfort, comfort. so this one. is getting all very practical now it is yeah so comfort uh did that meet is it me first this time is, yeah. yeah so comfort on the rsv4 <sighs> It, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not as good as the BMW. Yeah, agreed. Um, but it's okay. I, yeah. I, I could I could part with it. It would be better, better than we thought it would be. It's better it? than you think it would well, be. Well, it's yeah. better than I thought. Especially it would being be. quite tall. When you're six yeah. one, I'm six two. Yeah. You know, it's a small. It's a compact bike. It is yeah. without a doubt. But even still, you've got a bit more weight on your wrists on that. Yeah. But it's it's still acceptable. It's not yeah. too much weight on your wrists. Yeah. And the seat on the Aprilia the is, seat, is way more. Yeah, comfortable. I think because it's the M Sport seat, yeah. it's 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 a lot thinner because it's meant for the track. Really. I agree. Uh, that seat does not work for me on the road at all on no, the BMW. It's very hard. Yeah, and it's just the wrong shape. It's designed for you to just keep hanging off the bike side to side exactly. which again on the track's fantastic but on the road it just doesn't make any sense and you, it's too, within yeah. 15 minutes i was not happy about it yeah. <laughs> as long as that i don't yeah. think it was that well, no, that's the that. first thing you said yeah, we got yeah, on it know, exactly. <laughs> yeah so for comfort on that uh, you know i'm good at, for a sports bike so this is comfort for a sports bike you know it's no gold wing you know so yeah. i'm gonna give it a seven and a half i'm that's gonna give it a seven one. and a half uh, I think I'm going to join you. I think seven yeah. and a half. Yeah, it's it's better than I thought it would be. You know, it's still not something you'd want to ride around town on delivering pizzas on for very long. <laughs> um, but but it's it's totally fine. The seat is yeah. good. The seat is very comfortable. I for me yeah. personally, the pegs aren't that high no. in relative terms. On both of them. The both yeah, of they're them roomy. Are good you know, yeah. it just feel it, it, it's pretty good. Yeah. So BMW. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a nine. Oh yeah. I'm going to give it a nine on comfort. Uh, for a sports bike. Yeah, exactly. And this has got to be for a sports bike. Yeah, exactly. Bike, it's all You're relative. not going to say a gold wings are 10. No, no, That's, no, you know. no, exactly. For a sports bike, it's all relative, isn't it? And yeah. for a sports bike, it is really comfortable. The okay. pegs are a nice height. The old the old bike, the pegs were much higher. I mm -hmm. think the pegs were another two inches higher, maybe yeah. more on the yeah. old bike. Yeah. How do they sound? Aprilia. 
sounds incredible. I think <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It, it's isn't amazing. It? Everyone that's into bikes must have heard an Aprilia V4. Yeah. So I just put a 10 10 for the for, the, for both no, of us for no. the no. Oh, oh, no, no, sorry. Yes, <laughs> yeah. It's 10 it's 10 it's 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 the best sounding bike I think bar none. It's incredible. Yeah. Uh, and I actually think that again I don't want to offend any Ducati V4 riders, but I think the V4 is a disappointing yeah, sound because yeah, yeah. I was hoping it would sound something a bit like the Aprilia. Yeah. That sounds incredible. Nice. I love it. You love it. I do. <laughs> I've got to say. I think I prefer the handling of that straight away. Do you? I prefer it. Yeah, it's just, it, I just get more feedback from it. Interesting. I find with a lot of BMWs, they're just a little bit disconnected for me. And yeah, yeah. It's early days because I've only ridden, well, I've hardly ridden the BMW and the Aprilia have only been on for, what, 20 minutes. Have another go. Do the same thing up and down. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, do yeah. the same on the BMW. Do the same on the BM. Yeah. And I'm not criticising the BMW, but I just think, you know, that personal preference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, you get to sort of four and a half, five, five grand on that, and it's... It just pulls, just suddenly oh, wakes up, doesn't it? It's lovely. I don't know if that's something to do with the valve. They've got, like, the, the standard Aqua, and it's yeah. got the valve in here, isn't it? So whether the valve opens, and then it comes alive... I think so. Certainly, volume-wise, it comes alive, and the valve what opens. What does it sound like as a ride bike? Oh, it sounds lovely. It? It's, yeah, it sounds absolutely beautiful when yeah, you come yeah. past. There's no... There's no... There's, there's certainly already, there's a clear winner... On, on sound, sound. <laughs> we can say we can agree on that much for sure. Sound for the BMW as yeah. stock. This is stock, both stock because yeah, that comes with the Aprilia. That's how we're testing it's them. Standard, stock. So it's it's low, isn't it? It's it doesn't sound. You can hear it. <laughs> it's got a nice little pop as you, as you come down on the blipper. It's not your a hip, nice is little. It? <laughs> that's it <the hip> coming out. <laughs> It's got a nice little pop, but yeah, it's it's very very quiet. Too quiet, it? a little bit it's hard very, because very quiet. you need to put a pipe on it, you, and then it will sound like it sounds like a, a nice thrashy V4. Uh, I was picking up on straight, straight four. four. Um, it's got a nice bit of induction roar. A bit of induction well. roar, but it's, it's a lot quieter power. than the um, the Triumph um, Street Triple RS, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a lot quieter yeah, than that. Yeah. So it's it's too quiet, and when you're really on the over 50 mile an hour, you can't hear it at all. Yeah, and actually, if, if you didn't have the dashboard. I would struggle to know what actually was going on. Yeah, it's it's a shame because it's too quiet. It's it's going to mark it down quite a lot because it is so quiet. You can't really yeah. give it. Having said that, though, there's no rough noises. No, no, so, yeah, so exactly. It's, yeah. it's very refined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not like some quiet bikes you can hear too much and I think it's pretty unpleasant. Yeah. So I'm going to go five because oh, you, it's yeah. nondescript and. Yeah. I'm going to go six. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go six. It, okay. it, yeah, I'm going to go six. <laughs> Does sound nice? God, does it ever. Okay, a couple more to go. Equipment, equipment levels. Yeah. Getting a bit of a boring one. Time for the BMW might claw a bit more back on equipment. It will, it will be, yeah. So starting with the double R, I mean, we've already said you've got the fuel gauge. It's got all of those road there's nothing. There's nothing missing, John. I can't so, think of anything else you'd want on it that it hasn't got. I, I agree. So, well, you score it short term, but it's got to be. I'm nine. going to give. Yeah, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a ten. I think I am. I'm well. going to give it a ten. It's a ten because it's got every creature comfort you could ever want. Yeah. The uh, the quick shifter and the blipper on a BMW is superior to the Aprilia. The Aprilia is fantastic up, but I struggled a little bit down. Yeah, it's just it's silky so around, isn't it? it's beautiful. It's got mm. everything. The dash is amazing. It's got every creature comfort. It's very easy to use. Changing the modes is very easy on the yeah, fly. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not even used to the bike, and it's just so easy. Yeah. It's brilliant. For the RS34 equipment, it's not bad, you know. It's not. It's got cruise control, which is the beef. If it didn't have cruise control, yeah. I wouldn't be happy. No. I do like cruise control. I, I do bike. as well, particularly on a sports bike, yeah. more than ever, because yeah. you need to give your right wrist a, you do. a, a break. You do. And, and it's really nice, isn't it? Just put it it's on lovely. for a few minutes, just oh. move things around. I think the um, equipment levels on the Aprilia are still it's pretty, pretty good. good. It's, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's pretty you good. Know, it's, it's just missed, it's, it's, it's the fuel gauge. Oh, no, it's, yeah, it's a fuel gauge. Yeah. If, with a bike which has such a small reserve on it, yeah, it, you know you've got to do yeah. the trip. If you forget to do the trip, you know it's just yeah. a bit of a ball ache. But it's got Go the, it's got score the cruise. It. I'm going to score it a, a eight. Yeah, okay. I'm going to score well, it. An I'm, eight. I'm going to join you as well because yeah. it's very very good as well. It is. Um, and don't forget, it does come with the Acropovic. Which, ah, yeah, yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, so, um, uh, mm. which I think as a stock I'm item, I'm eight and a half. Are you? Okay, yeah, but, just for that, we have to Yeah, about but you that. know that that's a lot of money. I know it's yeah. more money in the first place, but that's a lot of money that you don't yeah. have to fork out after you bought that's it, a, and it's loud enough. That's a very good point. Yeah, that's a very good point. 
Yeah, this is much easier to ride because that throttle isn't as sensitive, so it can be a little bit more, you know what I mean? You don't have to be quite as fine, quite as finesse it quite so much. Last one, value. Value for money. Ooh. It's difficult because they're both so expensive, aren't they? So oh, value yeah. for money. I'll let it's, you go first on this Yeah, one. no, I will. So I think, um, I personally think the of price it. of bikes now, and I think partly because, um, and it's fairly self-evident from looking at me on the camera, I'm quite old now. <laughs> but I think the, the, price, got the, 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 the price of bikes now, <laughs> in my mind, is, is getting quite serious. Yeah. You know, I, I was buying Lita Sports bikes which doesn't seem that long ago for like under nine yeah 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 <laughs> and now we're talking about 20 22 and a half so it's serious amounts of money um the question is which is the better value of the two or are they good value at all just value overall value really. overall so i think it's it's hard to justify spending that much money on a bike full stop and you don't need to spend that much money no. on a bike i don't think and it's all very well having the latest and greatest, but if you're doing track days, then you might start getting paranoid you're going to crash it. Mm, yeah. Right, yeah. And, and on the road, you don't need the performance of these or the exotica of these, really, no. because you're not touching the sides of what they're capable of, exactly, are you, yeah, really? No, God, no. But I think, I think that the Aprilia is slightly better value because it comes with what I would say are traditionally more expensive components like the Olins, like mm. the carbon mm. fibre tr carbon fibre trim, you know, it, it, it's got that sort of panache. Mm. Whereas I think the BMW, for me, I don't think it's such good value. And I, I think the base sport model, so not the base model, the sport model, the SS, yeah. I think that's pretty good value. Yeah, yeah. I think the M Sport yeah. for me is getting a little bit too fruity on the price. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the trouble, isn't it? It's, it's all these, like the carbon wheels, you know, you the price of carbon wheels, it's not too bad. If you think three grand extra when you've got carbon, I mean, they're only about two and a half grand for carbon I wheels I to agree. buy. So I get all of that. Yeah, but you're right. I mean, this has got the Stylima Brembo's, that's got BMW, BMW Gallup, I mean, they work fantastically. They, they do work They really actually well. work better than these on this particular bike. I think yeah. this bike may not have been running the brakes very well. No. There's a lot of lever movement. But you've got to caveat that because I've got those brakes on my bike and they are Fantastic. absolutely amazing. That's what I mean. So I, I, think, I think that that's probably... I think it's, it's this it's, bike. It's bike I, I've ridden it? other ones and they've been yeah, spot on. Right. But the brakes on that are amazing. They're amazing. But They're really good. for me personally, if I was spending £20,000, they just don't look very nice, no. do they? No. They no. just don't. And and that's all part of the value experience, yeah, I yeah. think. I agree. So, so that, you're right. Um, you've got, you've so been very, very I true. think, let's score it. So Aprilia on value, I'm going to say, given what you get, and given that it's hugely desirable, and compare it to the likes of, a, I know we're doing a comparison between the two, but if you think about Italian bikes, other brands, they're expensive, Envy Augusta, Ducati. Yeah, well, 27 I, grand for that Brutale. It, the exactly. Other, I, other I, think, I think the value for money of the Aprilia is, uh, I'm going to go eight and a half. Yeah. Uh, and I think for the BMW M Sport trim, I'm going to go seven because yeah. I think it's a lot of money. It's good, yeah, good, good scores. Um, I'm tempted just to follow suit there, but I think the RS34. I think you're right. What you've got on it for the price, mm. it, when the, what's it, it's another two and a half grand more, almost than that. Yeah, you've got the Olin, which is not. An yeah, it's a lot sum, of, it is, it is but, a lot of money. But they're both hugely expensive, so therefore which one do you think represents slightly yeah. better? I, I think as well, sorry John to cut no, you off no, on actually no. scoring, but, no, no. but you, one has to consider future values, depreciation as well. Yeah. And I think with that desirability, and uh, I think you know yeah. that's all part of the value proposition. Well, that's certainly how I think about it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I don't want to leave the witness. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to go eight okay. on the R34. And I'm going to go seven with you, are you? on that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the question is, we need to are do some maths now. Mathematically I, capable to add them all up? Certainly not. I'm oh passing it over to you. <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, pause this for a minute, don't you? Greg is a mathematician, by the way. Yeah, I'd just like to add that he is. Uh, that's part of your job. You are a mathematician. Let's put the countdown music on now. <laughs> Shall I get the calculator? No. Oh, lost my track count then. 
You're not going to put this in, obviously, are you? <laughs> I don't know, am I? No. <laughs> Got the outtake. As soon as you mentioned half, so I knew it was going to be difficult to add out. The scores are in. Is this going to help proceedings? Well, I don't know, is it? It's quite close, isn't it? It is close. It's quite close. So, in total, adding up our scores, the S1000, we have a total of 130 points, 130.5 So that is your points. scores plus my scores all added, added together. Up. Yep. The RSV4, 139.5. Really? So the RSV4 is the winner on based points. On, based on that Based scoring. on points. But the question is, which one? If I, if I could give you the keys to one of these bikes, yep. and you had to keep it for the next five years, you couldn't say, I'll just buy it and sell it. Yep. Which one would you take? The Aprilia. You'd take the Aprilia? I would, yeah. I love it. It's just amazing. Yeah, just the experience. It's just too good. It's got some idiosyncrasies. It's got some little niggles that I'm not so sure about, but overall it's phenomenal. And I just can't stop laughing when I'm riding it. It's just brilliant. <laughs> it's really good. And I feel more confident on it overall. I yeah. think the handling suits me better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. it's very That's racy, but yeah, I just prefer it. You? I'm a little bit more torn than you. It's not, yeah. it's not as obvious for me which one I'd have. I like the practicality of that. Yeah. I like this, how nice it is to ride on the road, how comfortable it is. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'd want something maybe to use that for longer trips. A bit more go use it as right. almost a bit of a mile yeah. muncher to yeah. a degree. And I think you could. You could yeah. use that. You know, if I've got to go up to test a bike, go yeah. to Edmunds like I did the other week, go on that. Yeah. And whereas I, I wouldn't really want to do it no, on that. No, fair enough. So. BMW for you then. I, it's allowed. I know. I, yeah. I, that, that, this is amazing. Yeah. But I think, I think I would take the BMW. Right. Okay. Good. But we're agreed that they're both fantastic. They're both and incredible. The Aprilia is my preferred bike, but equally, if you gave me the keys to the BMW yeah. for the next five years I'll, and said, that's oh, it. I'll be perfectly happy with that. You, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you wouldn't be disappointed. They're both amazing bikes. Yeah. They are quite different, aren't they? Yeah. They are quite different. And, then, and this is a road test, I and mean, we haven't taken yeah. these on track. I mean, if you took them on track, you may form different opinions, you know, so yeah. we're talking this just is, This is one test. afternoon on yeah. roads. On roads, a lot of them that we do know reasonably well. Yeah. Some I know less well. Um, and you know they're both amazing quite different uh different characters different handling quite yeah so so different yeah. but um yeah there you go there we go bmw for me i think i think yeah. i could yeah. be easily swayed but i'm thinking yeah. bmw stick with your decision rsv4 for you it is definitely there we are well what we're going to do is the end of august i yep. should be getting the new fireblade sp triple r so perhaps we could do a rematch, triple perhaps R. the triple, triple, R. R. triple R, the R R R. <laughs> perhaps Wheels would be kind enough to lend us this again. Yep. Plus the well, with that one, well, well, yeah, probably this. I reckon go the, the go the RSV4 versus the Blade. Perfect. To see yep. which ones we prefer, and then we could. We, I know it's a shame we've not both agreed on a bike because then we could take the out. Mind you, that is the outright winner on on paper on points. The RSV4 Based on that it. careful objective scoring system, exactly. And so to consider it. it the RSV4 is the winner. It so the we're winner going to take score. the winner yeah. versus the new blade. So personal preference, I prefer the Aprilia. You prefer the BMW, but overall winner, you have to accept John is the Aprilia accept, based yeah, on the scoring on the, system how, that how you came up with. Your criteria, <laughs> your this criteria, one, yeah. this one. No, but I think you're right. An Aprilia um, test against the new blade would be brilliant. We both own blades. Yeah. Uh, not the current one, far from it. Yeah. But so we're but we're familiar with blades, that'll aren't be, we? That will be, be a good test. And I'm really, really intrigued to ride that. And um, we've got the Japanese garden for it. So absolutely exactly. perfect so for the Japanese back out to Japan for that test as well. So we keep flying out. I'm very jet lagged, aren't you? <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible. That's why I couldn't have the scores up. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate your support as always. Cheers. See you next time.